Look at the structures around you. The tall buildings, roads, bridges, dams. Who build all these structures? Of course, it requires a huge team. But structural engineers play a key role in designing each of these structures. But how do they design these structures? What skills are required to design these structures? Hi, this is Ashia, and today we are going to discuss the whole process of structural engineering. What skills are required and of course the top softwares that you should consider learning if you want to be a structural engineer. Let's take an example that there is a client who wants to build a house. So he will be having certain requirements and expectation in his mind about the house. So with this requirements, he will approach an architect who will create an architectural plan for his client, which will include all his expectations and requirements. Once it is done, the architect and the client can finalize the drawing and structural designing can be started. A structural designing has to be done by structural engineer. It starts with creating structural framing drawing. In a structural framing drawing, the size and the position of each of the elements of the building is clearly defined. With the help of structural framing drawing, modeling of the building in any design software can be done. After the modeling, analysis and design has to be done. The structural analysis of a building is a process by which we get the reaction of the building when certain loads are applied on it. And these loads are of different types which we can discuss in another video. So once we get the reaction of the building, we will get to know the actual requirement of the building. And we can change the size and position of these elements in the building accordingly. With this, we can design a building which is strong and stable and can resist all the loads that are applied on it without any failure throughout its lifetime. Once analysis and design is complete, we can move on for detailing. Detailing is nothing but determining the size and position of reinforcement, which will help us in creating GFC drawings. GFC drawings are good for construction drawings, which are the final drawings which are sent to site for further construction of the building. For each of this process, we will have to use certain softwares because doing it manually will be very tedious. Starting from structural framing drawing, we can use AutoCAD for this, which is a very popular software among civil engineers and also very easy to use. For modeling, analysis and design, we can use couple of design softwares like CSI eTabs, SAFE, StatPro, Stat Foundation, SAP2000, Procon, RCDC, Tecla, etc. For detailing and preparation of GFC drawings, we can either use AutoCAD or RCDC. There are many other softwares in the market which are used for the same purpose but these are the most popular softwares that I use in corporate and if you are a structural engineer I would recommend you to get familiar with all these softwares because they are very useful, very reliable and will definitely help you in your career. So that's all for today and thank you so much for watching the video till now. If you have any queries please ask us in the comment section. We will be back with another video. Till then, bye.